making sure there's no feet approaching the corner that are trying to cross. Once I get out to my visibility spot, I'm looking left, right, and left for cars and people. All along the road, I'm still scanning right, left, right. Although it's not as visible probably to a passenger because I don't move my head when I'm driving forward. I'm scanning with my eyes. Hey, it's Jacqueline. And for the next few minutes, we're gonna work on a question that I get a lot from new drivers. When you come to a stop sign, are you supposed to look right, left, right? Or are you supposed to look left, right, left? And I wanna talk about why that's important. When you're driving a car and you come to a stop sign, your first priority is to look for pedestrians. And when you're looking for pedestrians, you're looking for them first in the right corner of your car because that's where they will be closest to you. So we look right, left, and right for pedestrians. Then when we're ready to go, we look left, right, left for cars. So we actually do both. Let's practice that again here. We come to a full stop and we look right, left, right for pedestrians, cyclists. And now as we're about to go, we look left, right, left for cars. We know that pedestrians can come from the right or the left, but we wanna be sure that we look in the right corner first because that's where the pedestrians will be just stepping off the curb in front of our car. Right, left, right. And now that I'm advancing, I keep track of cars to the left because I wanna make sure that if there was a car coming from the left, of course, I would be aware of it. Let's drive in a couple different settings where we have to practice checking for pedestrians, bikes, and cars. And we'll practice scanning right, left, right, and then left, right, left. So we're going to make a left turn at this T. We're going to do a full stop and look right, left, right for pedestrians. And then I'm going to creep out and look left, right, left for cars. And I continue to let my eyes scan right and left, looking for people, bikes, and cars, even after I've started to make my entrance into the intersection. So right, left, right for pedestrians, and now I'm looking left, right, left, to make sure that there aren't any cars coming. Both scans are important and both are a part of keeping people safe. Let's practice again here. We're coming to a four-way stop and before we can cross, we have to look right, left, right for pedestrians. And as I'm going through, I'm still scanning left and right just to make sure that nobody pops out. All along the road, I'm still scanning right, left, right. Although it's not as visible probably to a passenger because I don't move my head when I'm driving forward. I'm scanning with my eyes. I'm scanning to the right and I'm reading the sight distance sign. I'm scanning to the left to see if I see a car coming up over the hill. I'm scanning to the right to notice the pedestrian and the parked cars. And when I come to the stop sign and I do my full stop, I'm going to check right, left, right to see if there are any pedestrians. 
right, left, right. And since there are no cars, I get to go and I just continue scanning. So when I'm looking right, I'm looking for a human. I'm looking for somebody that wants to cross the street and is standing at the corner and is looking at me to make sure that I'm gonna stop and let them go. And we'll make a right turn here up at this light. And while we're stopped, we'll just sort of scan around for pedestrians. And then when it's our turn to go, I look left again before I go because I want to make sure that there are no cars coming. So I'm concerned about pedestrians from the right and the left, but I always start by checking my right corner first. And it's important to remember that when you're checking for pedestrians on the right and left, the crossbars, crossbar A and crossbar B, can block your view. So your scan is looking really around the objects that could block your view and hide a human being in just the sliver of your crossbar. And all the way down the road, I'm scanning right and left, but my nose and my chin stay forward. And my priority is to notice if there was anyone coming from either side so that I could respond appropriately by yielding or coming to a full stop if I had to. It's only at the stop signs where I actively search to the right or the left, looking further down the sidewalk. Right here, I just scan right and left, looking at the corners of the sidewalk. But when I come to my full stop, I look a little further down the sidewalk because I know that if a car is stopped and somebody's approaching the corner, it's likely that they're going to, going to want to hurry up and cross while the car is stopped. So I really am looking for pedestrians when I come to my stop. And that's why I always check right and left and then right again in that order. So to answer that question, is it right, left, right? Or is it left, right, left? We have to think about what we're looking for. And if we're looking for pedestrians, our first glance is to the right corner because that's where the pedestrians will be closest to stepping in front of our car. If we're looking for cars, then we're going to be looking to the left because that's the direction that cars would be coming from. Before I make this right turn, I'm going to check my right mirror and my blind spot to make sure there's no cyclist in this space right here, mirror and blind spot. And then I stay aware of this right corner, making sure that I can cross safely and that nobody would be hurt by me turning right. As I'm a approaching this bicycle crossing for this trail, I'm still looking right, left, right. And I like to reduce my speed to about 15 whenever I'm approaching a hazard. That way if somebody popped out quickly, I'd be able to come to a quick stop. And since I'm turning left, I have to make sure to check all the way back to my left blind spot and now this runner on the left is in my radar and I'm making sure that I give them space. I'm using the arrow to stay centered so that's super easy. And when I come to this stop, I'm going to look right, left, right for pedestrians. Making sure there's no feet approaching the corner that are trying to cross. Once I get out to my visibility spot, I'm looking left, right, and left for cars and people. 
And thanks for checking in today to answer that question that so many of my new drivers ask me. Am I supposed to look right, left, right, or left, right, left? I hope it makes a little bit more sense to you now, and I hope that you feel like the most important thing when you come to a stop sign is first looking for people and then thinking about cars. And of course, make sure that it's clear of all hazards before you attempt to clear an intersection. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.